Hi guys, it's Kat from Perfectly Imperfect Crafts. I'm here to share another journal that I made. I have just listed this in my Etsy shop by Perfectly Imperfect Crafts is the name of it. Um, it is a five inch by seven inch journal, the one and three quarter inch spine. If I remember right, wrong side. It's just a little over one and three quarters. And it has five signatures. This it's tied with this vintage lace trim, and it is completely removable because it is slid through behind the um, stitches there. Okay, so there's five signatures in it. The scrapbooking paper comes from K and Company, and it was the Susan Wingett um, paper pack. And the fabric is Susan Wingate paper matches the scrap of paper. So this is a piece of piano roll that I have sewed onto the page. A piece of fabric here with a little ticket sewn on. And this is all tea stein paper. Um, this is just a paper clipped on it that flips over so that you can write on it and write on the back. It is distressed ink. All of the scrapbook paper is distressing as well. Some vintage wallpaper. This is a piece of vintage ledger and it just folded and sewed down to make a tuck spot. This journaling card. This is a just an envelope that I've made from some dictionary page that you can decorate however you want. It's on there with one of those little teardrop, that's what I call them, teardrop um, paper clips. Some um, music paper. The other side of the ledger I just did as a flip out. Some more piano roll sewed on. There's lots of sewing in here. Lots of blank space to write or add your own pictures. There's a tuck spot here. It's got this library card with a bird on it. And then I made this tag with some of the cutoffs of the uh, ledger paper. And you can write on it. more music paper and vintage wallpaper. I love the look of the sewing. Another paper clip here. And it's just a piece of cardstock or scrapbook paper that I folded over to hold this flip out in or hold it down rather. And you could use it as a tuck spot. Get my fingers to work right. I sewed the signatures with the sewing machine and then hand stitched them into the journal. So the um, envelope that I made. There's five handmade envelopes in here. This is a little pocket. Grab something that I can use to show you. There's a little pocket there, so if you wanted to hide something. There's some vintage lace sewn onto the edge of this page. This envelope, if we're in a second signature, this envelope has been magnetized. This is a piece of vintage um, receipt paper. It has the carbon paper still on it. But you open this, and then this will flip out so you can write, and you can add pictures or whatever. But it is magnetized so that it holds that down. Yeah. Unless you do what I just did. Um, the other piece of a ledger paper, and I just made this ticket or 
tag rather. This is some wallpaper sewn onto it and it's just layered up with some uh, music paper and vellum I think. This is uh, more of that wallpaper and then there's a vintage stamp back here that's glued down. And we have a butterfly paper clip and this is a piece of antique papery um, one of her designs and I just tucked it there so you can have it as a writing space vintage ledger and then this just holds a couple of little cards sewed it down some fabric here music paper this is like the end paper of a book sonin signature I did a flip through on my live the other night but not everybody watches live so I wanted to share the journal it's more um, fabric onto this piece of paper a little tuck spot on this side of the ledger paper more than a uh, piano roll and then this is a little label from uh, I believe it's Graphics Fairy. We have a pocket here. This tag that I made and I just added some fabric to the top of it for a tab. And then this is just journaling space. Some more vintage trim. Another little envelope that I made, and a little um, piece of ephemera that I think it might be from old design shop or digital collage. I'm not sure. We have a vintage stamp from 1936, and a piece of scrapbook paper with this little teardrop clip. I don't really know what they're called, but that's what I call them. That's what they remind me of. This is another little pocket. You could stick something in here if you wanted. Just an embellishment. Like I said, lots of places to write, to add your own things. It's another pocket here. It has this vintage replica of a receipt. And copies of some ice coupons. This paper is so pretty. We have a fabric pocket here. And this is a copy of a vintage check. And I made this journaling card. Oh, excuse me. The slides in the pocket. More ledger. There's another pocket there with another envelope that I made. Some more vintage wallpaper. And we have a telegram. This is a tsunami rose design. And it's another one of those butterfly paper clips. Some more. This is blue fabric. And this is um, a ribbon that I did on some cardstock with another envelope tucked behind it. More wallpaper. Another pocket. And this has some raffle tickets and a copy of a receipt from 1874 I think it says and then another pocket here and it has another vintage check copy in it and a copy of a hotel restaurant receipt 
and I just kind of printed it bigger so you'd have lots of room on the back to write. And then there is my stamp. It has, there is card, not cardstock, got chipboard here on the inside, front and back cover. And then this is Tyvek fabric and heavy um, 110 pound cardstock. So the spine is more flexible and you can just really do whatever with it. So that is the journal that I made. I have it listed on my Etsy shop and I will leave all the information in the description box below. Uh, thank you for watching my video. If you haven't subscribed, please do so and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.